Good morning, everyone. My name is Alejandra Castro, recently graduated as MA in Global Health from Royal Holloway University of London. I'm convinced of the benefit that nature connection can bring for people and environment well-being, and I'm glad to share today the result of my research promoting nature connectedness in Royal Holloway students. Mental well-being is recognized as a fundamental dimension of people health. Recent studies expose an increasing depressive and anxious state in young adults. While anxiety is a normal response to a stressful situation, certain circumstances can make it difficult to manage and threaten mental well-being. The transition to adulthood and the adaptation to a new life at university is a time of emotional tumult. And the absence of proper support can affect concentration, temperament control, and social abilities, decrease academic performance, or lead to university dropout. There is robust evidence regarding the restorative benefit of nature connection and further association with developing pro-environmental behaviors. However, lifestyle changing during the Anthropocene and social inequalities have distanced people from nature, and young adults present less interest in interacting with it. University campuses represent a realistic and sustainable opportunity for promoting nature connectedness as a solution. The study was conducted to understand how Royal Holloway students use specific green areas of campus, if this was significant to improve their mental well-being and to promote environmental care, and if this was affected by previous perception and interaction with nature, to finally propose recommendations to university administration that spring student emotional connection with nature. The methodology selected was a qualitative research design combining three methods for data collection, non-participative observations to evaluate campus and narrow the study into specific areas to observe direct and indirect student behaviors there, content analysis to understand what information was available for a student and if this information was useful to find green areas and learn about nature. Finally, in-depth interviews to understand the reasons beneath student behaviors in the areas. With focus in the purpose of the study, three main themes arise from the research. Student mental well-being, environmental care, and perception, use, and enjoyment of green areas. The study identified feelings of anxiety related to study pressure, but also feelings of loneliness of which a student seems not to be aware of supporting the idea that wider effect of the isolation during the pandemic still remain in young population, and they require special support. This provides important insight for well-being department and the importance of adapting more preventive approaches. A considerable amount of cigarette butts and other items around green areas reveal lack of care for nature, but most significantly expose high consume of tobacco and alcohol and raise important questions regarding the link of this consume with levels of anxiety and loneliness detected on the student. Finally, despite the student perceived nature as beneficial for their mental well-being, they visit green areas on campus incidentally, having marginal significance for their mental well-being. Principal reasons preventing a student to visit green areas are lack of knowledge and bad perception of the area's condition. This finding of interest for State Department complement those of early studies exposing the negative perception of natural processes that affect the aesthetic of the area, stressing the necessity to communicate to visitors the importance of this process for biodiversity. This study has been conducted under the prism of planetary health, proposing concrete solutions that simultaneously address health problems for people and environment recommending a proactive approach that improves information, promotes social interaction, and encourages students to interact with nature and use green spaces on campus. Considering that institutions such as universities have a responsibility to take care not just on academic matters, but also on student mental well-being, and recognize the importance of nature for this purpose, and to reduce inequalities in health is critical. Here's the list of my reference, and thank you very much for your attention to Dr. Jennifer Cole for her support and to the NOVA Institute for the invitation today. Thanks.